all settled in and happy are we then, sir? Written all our last goodbyes. Oh, no need for that, Perkins. I've just dashed off a couple of notes, one asking for a sponge bag and the other sending for my lawyer. Oh, your lawyer, yes, sir. Now, don't you think that might be a bit of a waste of money, sir? <laughs> Not when he's the finest mind in English legal history. Ever heard of Bob Massingbird? Oh, yes, indeed, sir. <laughs> a most gifted gentleman. Right. I remember Massingbird's most famous case. The case of the bloody knife. A man was found next to a murdered body. He had the knife in his hand. Thirteen witnesses had seen him stab the victim. <laughs> and when the police arrived, he said, I'm glad I killed the bastard. <laughs> Massingbird not only got him off, he got him knighted in the New Year's Honours list. <laughs> and the relatives of the victim had to pay to have the blood washed out of his jacket. And he's a dab band at the prosecution as well, sir. Yes, well, look at Oscar Wilde. Oh, Butch Oscar. Exactly. <laughs> Big bearded, bonking Butch Oscar. <laughs> The terror of the ladies, 114 illegitimate children, world heavyweight boxing champion, and author of the best-selling pamphlet, Why I Like to Do It With Girls. <laughs> and Mussingbird had him sent down for being a whoopsie. <laughs> ah, Baldrick, anything from Mussingbird yet? Yes, sir, just arrived, sir. What is it? A sponge bag, sir. <laughs> a sponge bag? Yes, sir. Baldrick, I gave you two notes. You sent the note asking for a sponge bag to the finest mind in English legal history. You certainly did, sir. And you sent the note requesting legal representation to... Well, tally-ho with a bing and a ball and a buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll tell you, first of all, sir, that I am deeply, deeply honoured. Warwick, I'll deal with you later. 